All right, guys, welcome back to another video. And today, I actually had an interesting idea. So what if I basically did a whole video dedicated to entering secret areas? What I mean by quote unquote secret areas is just areas that the game doesn't want you to be in. Like for example, the sewer bank or like the fire station or the Ford Leaf store, stuff like that. Generally just places the game doesn't want you to enter and kind of just discovering everything or like showing you guys like what's in there. You know, I feel like I could just do a whole video on that. So let's just get started. All right, so location number one is the underground sewer bank. Now, it's kind of funny because this has been out for quite a while. I think it's been out for like a few years, maybe. Oh, my dog just pooped. But anyway, it's been out for a few years and you still can't access it. I'm really sad about that. There's no bank robber mission or something, but you can go inside of it. And of course, it is using the good old dog. Now, for the majority of these locations, you will be using the dog to get in there. So you just simply do the handshake trick and, you know, the AI low path pathfinding system will go in for you and it'll even face through the door nice and just like that i'm inside the sewer bank is there anything to do in the sewer bank nope there's not in fact i don't even know what to do in here and the ladder no nope. well the ladder doesn't do anything either so yeah it's just kind of sad to see this uh do nothing i don't think this code does anything either it's just a random code thing so um yeah i guess i'm stuck in here for now unless i use my map but yeah, that's the first location. The next location I have in mind is the little duck house. And this one's also pretty interesting. Of course, this generally revolves around the same trick. You know, put the dog here. Bruh. How do you poop again? I didn't even feed him yet. Okay, whatever. But yeah, you put him in here and then you do the handshake trick and you know, you can just get inside. And of course, there is nothing in here. I mean, this looks like a pre chill home. If you could just furnish it up. I mean, like I could chill in here if I was a duck, man. But unfortunately, that's about it, man. For a rich duck's home, it's not that impressive, but um, maybe he has good money management. I don't know. Maybe he's like super cheap. Who knows? Also, I realized I can't pick up this dog poop. Um, That's that's not good. Next up, we got the long-awaited for lease store. This is another area in the game that generally hasn't been updated or we haven't really seen news about what's going to happen to this for lease store, but you can still go inside of it. And of course, this one also revolves around the dog. You just push him to the side um, and use the handshake trick. And voila, there we go, we're in. And let's see what we found. Two trash cans, okay, cool. This is a groundbreaking discovery if I've ever seen one, man. What if I could like take one of these out to like uh, outside the station thing or whatever building. Well, I got both the trash cans stuck. I couldn't get outside, but it was worth a shot, I guess. Anyway, unfortunately, that's about it for the Furley store. Still kind of interesting though, I guess. All right, next up, we got Peverton Cell. So um, this one's pretty interesting. You can't go fully inside the cell, but you'll see what I mean in a minute. And of course, this one also involves a dog. But anyway, if you angle it just right, you should be able to get in. All right, I think I got it to work. I, I just did it at the wrong angle. And look at that, I'm stuck in here. But you can see that I have the option to crawl down the little cave thing. Apparently, by the way, fun fact, this little section of the game for Chapter 3, when Peverton breaks out of the jail and you go down this little hole thing, apparently it's inspired by El Chapo's Escape Accords, the wiki, if I remember correctly. Just something interesting. But hey, look at that. I can actually go down this. It looks pretty cool, too. I kind of like, I kind of miss that animation. Like, it looks super cool when you, like, jump down it and stuff like that and this little cave thing. Uh, yeah. I should replay the storyline at some point, but I don't know. I'm kind of lazy. And my dog is somehow just... In the void so um pretty fun stuff i won't lie and of course i saved the best for last which is the fire station now i actually know a method of getting in here i had my microphone turned off for this part but i still managed to bring into the fire station and honestly it's definitely uh something else you can see that dude up there just floating um stuff like that and you can see this giant pole um and there's just a bunch of fire station stuff you know and there's just like a random rail thingy in the middle and then the police are chasing me. Uh, that's cool, I guess. And um, yeah, like I said, this is a voiceover because I forgot to turn my mic on. That's cool, I guess. But yeah, um, pretty fun and glitch. I mean, this has been done a while ago, but I still think this is a really fun thing to do. And you can't open the gate, I believe. I should, yeah, I do in this part of the video, I open the gate. Um, the police don't walk in, I think, which is weird. I guess it's because they're not, they're like the little, like the AI pathfinding thing. They're not supposed to go in there, I guess. So you can kind of just mess with them for a little while if you want but like i said unfortunately there's not a whole lot to do in here yet because it's not finished but at least it wasn't like completely empty you know what i mean 
at least there was a couple things to put in here but yeah they're just they're just waiting for me to show up and i'm just messing up the doors and stuff it's pretty fun and um yeah cool stuff by the way for you guys looking for update news you know like the type of people who give out their life savings just for a little bit of a sneak peek i do have some good news sort of um in the sneak peek channel on discord there is like a small sneak peek and it's like a it's like a white picture of like a u-shaped thing around it but there's not a whole lot of information on here because it's a small sneak peek it's not really supposed to give away the whole update but it's definitely something to note i don't really know i don't have any theories on this i predicted the updates before like i remember like the trash can thing i remember i predicted but i just don't really know what to do with this one um give give, give your theories in the comments below but i don't really know and also for uh, what the car fans there also is a collab going on with like uh what the car sneaky sasquatch and i actually asked like um if the Sneaky Sasquatch game is going to get any content on their side of the collab, and they said not for now. So I don't know when that's going to happen. It's probably not going to be you know, for a very long time, probably, because they just haven't been updating a whole lot lately. Like, you can see that most of the time they'll go like six months with no updates, but maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Um, yeah, pretty interesting stuff in my opinion. That's another thing, though. Let me know if you want me to do the What the Car collab, if I want to make a video on that. I don't know, man. It's not necessarily Sneaky Sasquatch, so I don't know if I should make a video on it, but... I don't know. I'm not really sure right now. Maybe later. All right, guys. Well, that's about it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed that because I actually, actually had a lot of fun doing this video, just like exploring every single area, um, especially the fire station, stuff like that. That was actually really cool stuff. But yeah, that's basically all I have for this video. If you enjoyed the video, like and sub, all that cool stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.